Hello math learners, check this out. Writing polynomial functions in standard form. Write the following. y is equal to, okay, these are polynomial functions but not in standard form. So, the question is, do you know how to write this in standard form? If you don't, then finish this quick video and I will teach you how. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today we're going to discuss how to write polynomial functions in standard form. Now, the question is, what is a standard form? Polynomial functions or functions can be written in standard form and factored form. The factored form will be discussed in the next video. But for today, we'll talk about how to write this in standard form. The standard form is basically writing the terms from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. Basically, what you need to do is you just arrange the whole given function such that there will be no parentheses, that the things will be expanded, and the terms are arranged from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponents. So let's try our examples here. The first one is y is equal to 2x to the 4th plus 5x to the 5th minus 4x cubed plus 1 plus 2x. Basically, this is not arranged from the highest degree or from the highest exponent. Why? Because the highest exponent here is 5. This function is a kintic polynomial function. And the kintic polynomial function has the degree of 5. So what we need to do is we will write this in such a way that the first one will be written, okay, this one. So that is 5x to the power of 5. Followed by the next degree or the next exponent, which is this one. So that is positive 2x to the 4th. And then followed by the next exponent, that is cube. So that is 4x cube. I copy the sign, okay? Be careful in the signs. And we have cube. The next is squared. So we don't have any um, quadratic term here or the power of 2. So we have the power of 1, so that is the next, that is plus 2x, and then the constant term, that is positive 1. So basically, this is just how to write this given example in the standard form. Easy, right? Now let's go to the second example. f of x is equal to 5x plus 9x squared minus 8x to the power of 5. What is the highest exponent here? Of course, this is still a kintic polynomial function because the degree is 5. So how do we write that? That is f of x is equal to, what is the sign of this term? That is negative 8x to the power of 5. Okay, so we will write negative 8x to the power of 5 and then followed by to the power of 4. We don't have to the power of 4. To the power of 3, we don't have to the power of 3. Next is to the power of 2. We have 9x squared and that is positive. So 9x squared. And then finally, we have positive 5x. So this is how you write your second example to standard form. Easy, right? Now, what if you have parentheses? And that is our function number 3. y is equal to x times the quantity x squared minus 5. Basically, if you do encounter with um, parentheses, what you need to do is you just apply the FOIL method or the distributive property and then after that, combine like terms and then arrange it to the standard form from the highest degree down to the lowest degree. So, what we need to do here is y is equal to x times x squared minus 5. So, we will distribute our x so that will give us y is equal to x cubed minus 5x so basically this is already in the standard form because it is arranged in the highest term or the highest exponent followed by the next term lower to that exponent easy right so this is your final answer in writing 
Example number 3 into standard form. Now, let us go to example number 4. We have f of x is equal to negative x times the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4. So, we have three factors here. So, what you need to do here is, of course, you just need to apply the FOIL method. But, you can also apply some techniques, especially those special products. Okay, so what, I'm, what do I mean by special products? If you could still remember our lesson in factoring polynomials or rational algebraic expressions in the grade 8 lesson, which is also located in my grade 8 playlist. Uh, this is an example of a special product. Why? Because these two factors is the result of the difference of two squares. What is the difference of two squares? That is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And they are just the same. Okay. So how do we do that? Basically, if you multiply these two opposing binomials, the result of that will give you, give you f of x is equal to negative x. I'll just write this one, this first part. The resulting expression for x minus 4 times x plus 4 is x squared minus 16. Okay? Because x times x is x squared. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative, positive. That will give you negative. Okay, are we finished? Not yet because... We need to distribute our negative x here to our parenthesis. And that will give us f of x is equal to negative x cubed plus 16x. And that will be your final answer for writing this expression to the standard form. Okay? This is already arranged. And this is a cubic polynomial function. So basically, it is very easy, my dear math learners, and I hope you have a wonderful time in knowing how to write polynomial function in standard form. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic, and here it is. Okay, ma'am. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time about our topic for today. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.